Standing on a beast and holding the two, this exists because of the squatter man. All of the totem poles and the Asherah trees of the Old Testament exist because of the sacred pillar that emanated from the assembly. In the book of Revelation, they speak of two witnesses that flank the Lord of the earth. They seemingly have the power to shut up the heavens and they pour fire from their mouth. In Revelations, it reads, they are the two olive trees and the two lamp stands, and they stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouth and devours their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have the power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying. And they have power to turn the waters into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. The two are not people. These are not future events, but past events just as Inki was said to be the Lord of the earth. He was also flanked by the two rivers. The squatter man certainly lorded over the earth flanked by the two. We see the same archetype with Odin and the two ravens. The connection between Odin and ravens is very old and very deep. Already in the 6th and 7th centuries and well before the beginning of the actual Viking Age in the late 8th century, we see ancient visual depictions of Odin on helmets and jewelry frequently picture him accompanied by two ravens. The two ravens sit on Odin's shoulders and whisper all the news which they see and hear into his ear. They are called Hugin and Munin. He sends them out in the morning to fly around the whole world and by breakfast they are back again. Some offer what seems like sound explanations, but the true origins have been lost to history because they don't know about the assembly of the gods or the Patnia Theron being the assimilated being of the squatter field, which began the cultural response in the aftermath of the cataclysmic squatter man event. Our friend Kronos tells us that the squatter man is still all around us, but we have been completely blinded to it. People have carried their Bible around for years, being completely oblivious of the menorah's origin, through no fault of their own, of course. What did Odin sacrifice? His eye? Over time, the tales become more fantastic and detailed and personified. So few survive these catastrophic events, and some groups that did survive would surely believe that there were God's chosen people. 